Hi guys, my name is Sandy. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, social media marketing, uh, mainly Instagram marketing. Um, I'm just going to touch base on a lot, of, a lot of other apps, social media apps that you can use, including Facebook as well. Um, so I'm going to try to make this video as informative as possible, but if I confused you in any way, just go ahead and ask the questions and I'll be more than happy to try to reply back to you as soon as I can. And I apologize if I lose you because I know it can get really confusing, especially with Instagram marketing, but uh, I'm going to do my best to be as oh, clear uh, as I marketing can. on Instagram, um, how you can do this. You don't actually go to Instagram and try to buy a marketing campaign. You can, but I'm pretty sure it's really expensive to do that. Um, so the other option is to actually find um, users with um, a certain number of Instagram followers, a certain number of them. So when I say a certain number, I mean in the, in the, in the six digits at least. So um, what I recommend to do is um, you can go on the popular page and see what pictures pop up and then see who are the users behind that. Um, some of the users you will know off of that that they offer what is called a shout out service. Um, they don't say on their, e uh, you know, profile that they, they, they don't say, oh yeah, we offer shout out services. No, they'll have an email there and then just by having an email, you can just email them and then just ask them, what are your shout out rates? And what they do is with these, um, shout outs is, um, you basically pay a post, you pay for them to post something related to your Instagram, to your store's Instagram. So you need to make a, your store's Instagram. Page. I'm gonna that ready. talk about um, what to look for in these users. You don't want to just go on the popular page and then um, you know talk to every user that has like you know a million users, and then you'll see they offer a, a shout out program. I'm sure they do, but you want to pick the one that's gonna give you the best results. And I'm gonna show you a few tricks um, what to look for. I'm gonna show you an example. This is a really good example um, that I have used. Um, this is a user that I've used before. I'm going to show you right here. Um, this one is American Style. If you notice that they have 1.6 million followers. Not necessarily active followers, but 1.6 million followers. That's a lot of followers. So more than what I have right now. And what you want to do is... Yes, they have um, the followers. They also mention in their in their profile that they offer um, business promotion, business promotion, promotions and stuff. So they have the email there ready for you. And uh, what you want to do is before you contact them, you want to look through their pictures. So you see, you know, they have a lot of great pictures or whatever. So what I do is I look through the older ones. Um, I don't know. I let's go with these shoes, these pink shoes. And what I look for is how many likes this this particular post has. So if you look close, if you can see, this post has 42,000 likes, which is a really good number. Very good. Meaning that what that means is 40, at least 42,000 people saw this picture. That is a good thing. That means you're gonna get a percentage of that that's gonna follow you. Let's say you, you paid them to post something about your store onto their Instagram. That means a percentage of those people are going to end up following you because they saw that post from them. So it's a great way to get the word out. Um, you want to make sure it's not that's not the only picture that has that many likes. You want to look at some other pictures too that they have. So let's go down. Let's say let's pick this one, this bustier and these shorts or whatever. And you want to see how many likes they have. That one has 43,000. So it looks like the average like they have on each post is about 40,000, which is really good. So you definitely want to put them down on the list of possible promotions with, uh, partner up with promotions with, because um, they are actually a really good, um, you get really good, great results. For example, I posted something um, with them um, a while back. I don't think it's on there anymore, but I did post something with them a while back and I got... 300 followers in like two hours, which is not two, I don't want to say two hours, but maybe like five hours or something, which is really good. Um, and then, you know, as the, as the days went on, I got more and more followers. So, you know, it would dwindle down. So, you know, 
10 followers here and there, you know, whatever. So it was really good though. It was still a really good program. The One of the best results that I've ever received um, while using um, this kind of promotion with different users. Um, they, they're actually really expensive. They, char they might have changed their um, rates, so you should definitely email them and double check. But I paid $130 for a post, which is really expensive, um, especially for someone like me that's just starting out and I don't have any capital. But um, it's a great way to get um, your store um, noticed, um, to get the word out in your store. I also want to show you an example of someone to avoid. This person, or this Instagram user, um, give me one second, let me look for them. Okay. So this one is fashion underscore creative underscore love. Um, they have 1 million followers, which is a great number. You're going to be like, oh my god, they have a million followers. That's going to be a good one. No. You want to check their posts. So let's go ahead and look at one of their posts. I post, uh, this is a recent one, or this one was post um, a couple, 11 hours ago. There's a bunch of nails. And you want to look at how many likes they have. This one has 5,900 uh, likes. 5,900 likes. It's a far cry from 1 million followers. I'm not saying when you go to these um, users, just because they have all these followers means they're going to have the equal number of likes. That's not really how the case is. But it should be like, not a high, not a crazy high number. My standard is if they have a million followers, they got to have at least like 15,000 likes. At least, you know, like a percentage. You know, uh, not like a point percentage of likes, but an actual solid percentage. So... Let's look at another picture, you know, that's one. So let's look at another one. Let's look at this one. This one's a fashion one. This one they're promoting. Um, uh, fashion Nova probably paid them to do this. And this one only has 6,000, you know, 6,300 likes. So their average, it looks like it's going to be about 5,000 to 6,000 likes per post. Those are the ones I, I would avoid because that means that only you know exactly only 6,000 people saw this picture compared to the million followers that they say they have, which is not a good number, which is the, which is not a good, yeah, it's not a good number. Um, that means they don't have that many active users um, that's following them, which also might mean that they have possibly bought their followers through a service where you can just buy followers, um, buy in uh followers that aren't active there's a uh, there's a if you google it you could you could you could definitely find some services that do that and i'm going to tell you why you should not invest in money in that um in a minute but the main thing about instagram is you want to market to people that are active it does not do you any good to market to um to pay all this money to post on someone's instagram where they don't they don't have any active users like this one this, they have, they're saying they have a million followers, but they only have 6,000 active users. That's not, that's not a good number. You don't want to do that, you know, because only a percentage of those 6,000 people that saw that picture are going to follow you, like less than a percent. So you have to see what is worthwhile to you. You know, you're not going to pay $80 or whatever to post on there and then, you know, only have, only get like 100 followers from, from that. That's not worth it. So um, you definitely want to look and compare to see how many followers they have, how many likes they have per picture. So you want to like, you know, get an average and then you got to calculate whether it's worth it for you. So you gotta make sure you email them and ask them for prices. Sometimes if this is worth more, if it's a cost off a lot more, then you have to think about, okay, well, does the likes compensate that? Does the like makes the likes on this, on each of their picture make sense for me to pay that? So you, that's what you have to think about. Um, you know, it's always about the active users. So I don't, I don't care about anybody else. It's about the active users on Instagram. And the active users are important because these are the people that are going to go to your store and they're gonna buy stuff. Just like how if you if you are actively on Instagram like I am, I have friends that post pictures of food all the time, and whenever they post a picture of a food that looks really good, I in immediately crave it. So basically, the active users are the ones where. You know, they're not even thinking about like, you know, advertising or anything like that. But when they go through their Instagram and they see a really great outfit or they see something really cute that you're selling, that you all of a sudden you're selling, they're going to be like, oh, I want that. They're going to go out and buy that right away. Instant gratification is what um, I'm going at. That's the generation that's going on. That's what's going on right now. Instant gratification. So, you know, 
those are the people that you want to target. You know, you want to make sure that you done your statistics, you looked at your numbers, you make sure it's worth it, you make sure you're worth your time, and then you want to go ahead and do it. So that's why um, I, I stress, you know, always comparing um, followers versus likes and then also, you know, looking at comments too. Sometimes people, they, people post up pictures of like certain outfits and then people will say, oh, no, that's ugly or, you know, you listen to, listen to these people, you know. If you think, if they post up something and you think, oh, that's cute, but then someone else, a whole bunch of people, like a majority of people say, no, that's ugly, then you listen to them, you know. They're your customers. Not your customers right now, but they might be. So you definitely want to listen to that and you want to um, take note on that. Next, I want to go into um, buying Instagram followers and buying likes. This is a whole different ball game. When I'm saying you want to going to buy it, you're enlisting a service where they offer plans where they basically say, okay, you can buy 10,000 followers for $100. Or you could buy a hundred thousand, you know, ten thousand likes for fifty dollars. But these programs, you want to avoid as far as much as you can because when you buy these followers, they are actually they're inactive followers. Basically, right when you buy them, then the, within the first hour, they're you're gonna get like ten thousand follow new new followers, but they're not gonna do anything. They're just gonna sit there. They're not going to like your pictures. They're not gonna go to your store and buy anything. So who cares about them? They're, they don't, it doesn't make sense for you to pay that. Sometimes people think, oh, you know, if my store looks like it has all these followers, I might get more people. No, because they're not active. So you have 10,000 followers and then you only have 30 likes for each picture. That's not going to work. People are going to know. People are not stupid. Cust you know, especially your potential customers. They're not dumb, you know. They're going to see that and they're going to be like, oh, this person bought their followers. I don't want to follow them. They are not, it's not, they're doing something shady or something's going on. I don't want to be associated with that. That's what people think. You're going to lose your credit, uh, your credibility if you do it that way. And also you're going to lose, um, uh, you know, you're going to lose customers that way. Because um, they're going to see that and they're not going to, they're not going to be cool with it. Same thing with buying likes. So if you have, let's say you want to buy a like, you want to buy likes, you want to buy 10,000 likes for a post. Because you want it to boost it into the popular page or something. People want to see that, okay? You pay the fifty dollars for the ten thousand likes, for example. I don't know if that's how much you really cost, but I'm just using that example. All of a sudden, you have ten thousand likes on one of your pictures, but all the other pictures you have only has like ten likes or twenty likes or hundred likes. You know, you can't you can't do things like that. People people will find out. People get fishy. You know, they'll they'll see that and they'll that's not gonna fly. So um, that's why I would avoid them. Um, you don't want to lose credibility. Um, you don't want to be deemed as, you know, running some sort of shady business um, by trying to make it look like um, you're something that you're not. So um, that's why I recommend, you know, staying away from them. There are services that you can use to do a um, campaign. Similar to what I was talking about, about shoutouts, this one is more of a legitimate campaign. It's called, um, the company that you can use is called Instabrand. Dot com. The link is below. And what they do is you can set a budget. You tell them what kind of campaign you want to run. So you're if you have a fashion store, you want to do like a you know women's campaign or whatever. You put your budget in, and they have a group of people who they call influencers. And the influencers are people that have like a lot of followers on Instagram or Vine, um, or usually the two. Uh, like at least a million in either one of those and when they receive a campaign project and it matches the criteria of their certain influencers they will send it to them and their influencers will post it on their Instagram so this is like a middleman thing like you 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 sit, submit the campaign the company handles the campaign and then they send it to the influencers instead of you looking for um, influencers instead of looking for influencers yourself. So um, with this service, um, it's a little bit expensive, but what's great about it, they actually provide reports for you, so you don't have to do any of the math yourself, and they'll tell you everything. So they'll tell you how many followers you started out, and then after your campaign, how many followers you gained, um, you know, just what kind of um, traffic went on, all kinds of stuff. So they have whole reports for you, and everything for you to analyze. So that's what's really great about that. Um... And they have really, really, 
really well-known influencers. Um, a really popular one is Leanne V. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's really popular on Vine, and she's also popular on um, Instagram. She's actually enlisted in one of them, and I think her whole like Vine crew. I don't know if you guys are on Vine, but um, she has like a Vine, like a group of people that she always does Vines with. Um, they're all basically on influencers as uh, or on Instagram too as influencers. So it's a really good option if that's where you want to go if you have the money to do that. But um, you basically want to make sure you do a combination of both. So if you have the money to do Instagram, do it, and if you, and make sure you have the money to do um, shout outs with uh, specific users that have the number of that have the uh, like you know at least five hundred thousand followers and you know with the average likes as I said before. Um, those are the two. So and I'm, I'm pr pretty much finished talking about Instagram. There are other social media um, outlets that I do want to talk about. Um, I will show you here. So another um, social media you want to use is We Heart It, which is right here. It's an app. It's just like um, Pinterest, um, but in a simpler form. Actually, if you if you did some, I did some research on WeHeart It, and it turns out that um, the majority of users that use it are actually between the ages of 16 and 32 um, women. So 16 years old to 32 years old women. So if you are a launch, you know, fashion business, and your target is women or you know teens or whatever, you want to actually heavily market on that because it's a really great way to find people um, or have people find you because they're the, that's what the community is basically about. Also, another one is Trendable, which is in the middle right here. It's basically an Instagram, but for um, fashion, like strictly fashion. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I went ahead and just spelled it out for you. And uh, you can, um, people have stores on Trendable, like Barney, Saks, like big, big stores, like big companies have stores where people can actually buy the clothing directly from the app. You can do that too, but you have to have a really big store to do that. I don't, I don't, I tried inquiring about it, but they didn't get back to me. And I think it's because I didn't have like a really big store, but, um, yeah, you could do that. I mean, you can still post stuff and then, you know, tag your, what your store is and just make sure you put the links and all that stuff. Um, also, don't forget to add hashtags to everything because if you're just starting out, you want you want you want people to find you. So especially on Instagram, I mean, not use like don't use like a million hashtags, but you want to use hashtags that are relatable to your post, and then also hashtags for We Hearted and Trendable. Also, don't forget to to make a Pinterest and do um, you know add your links, post your pic products and hashtags and all that stuff as well so your product can get out there and then if you have a Facebook um, go ahead and make a page for your store actually um, I should mention that if you have Facebook and you also have Shopify as your e-commerce plat platform and I will go I'll talk more about this in the e-commerce platform video but um, you can actually sell your products directly out of Facebook because Facebook and Shopify um, work together so you can um, collaborate that and do that and every time you update your Shopify store your Facebook store will be up will, will be updated at the same time so that's what's really neat about Shopify they actually have a lot of apps in Shopify that you can use to do all kinds of stuff so um, that's why I, re I recommend Shopify um, but I'll talk more about that in the e-commerce platform video so um, make sure you check that out so I think that wraps it up with my video on social media marketing. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. Um, also subscribe to my channel. I am going to be talking, I'm, gonna, I'm also going to be adding more videos as we go, as we go along. Um, and you know, most of my videos are very informative. I kind of just try to get straight to the point. Um, but other than that, I don't think I ever have anything else. Um, if you need referrals as to which Instagram users to do shout outs with, um, I have a list, I don't, I mean, I don't have like a huge list, but I do have some people that I use that have got really great results with, and I'll be happy to share that with you. Um, just, just let me know and uh, I can get that to you. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.